You're watching the Faculty of the Mace Show, where faculty authority is promoted and protected in the Academy of the 21st Century. Welcome to Episode 1, Academic Accreditation. What are schools shopping for? In this episode, we look at both the good and the bad of accreditation shopping. But first, let's consider some definitions. First, accreditation shopping occurs when an institution seeks to either change accreditors or add a new accreditor. This same term has been used with a different meaning. Specifically, when an investor group buys a private college with regional accreditation and the purchase is conditioned on the new entity retaining that regional accreditation. I consider this to be college shopping, not accreditation shopping. College shopping is where an intangible asset called regional accreditation is one of the assets purchased by the acquisition group. I restrict the term accreditation shopping to when a college is seeking its own accreditation. What is accreditation? Accreditation is a process performed by accrediting agencies or accreditors that attempts to ensure academic quality and appropriate student outcomes. In the United States, we have a two-tier accreditation system, national and regional. The regional accreditors are considered the gold standard. They are geographically based. The United States is divided into six geographic regions, and each region has its own regional accreditor. For lack of a better term, I refer to these as the six siblings. Uh, the six siblings tend to accredit private, nonprofit, and public institutions. An example of a regional accreditor is the Higher Learning Commission North Central Association of Schools and Colleges. They accredit colleges in 19 Midwestern states, including my home state, Colorado. On the other hand, national accreditation is just what you think it is. It's national, nationwide. It doesn't have geographic boundaries. National accreditors tend to accredit private, for-profit colleges. Examples of such accreditors are ACCSC, the Accrediting Commission of Career Schools and Colleges, ACICS, the Accrediting Council for Independent Colleges and Schools, and DETC, the Distance Education Training Council. What are reasons that colleges shop for accreditors? There are many reasons that colleges shop for accreditors. There are good and bad reasons. Let's look first at four good reasons. The first good reason concerns transfer of credit and acceptance of degrees. It is much easier for schools that belong to the same accrediting organization to both transfer transcripted credits and also to accept each other's degrees. And for that reason, some schools seek dual accreditation. An example of this would be when a school with national accreditation seeks to also obtain regional accreditation. The second good reason is change of mission. From time to time, a school will look deeply at its mission statement, at its academic programs, at its student body, and it will conclude that it rightly belongs with another group of schools. An example of this might be that a school seeks to obtain regional accreditation when it in the past has had national accreditation. A third good reason is geographic changes, and this concerns regional accreditation when a school might attempt to change from one regional accreditor to another. Why might this be? Well, the headquarters location of the school might change, and it might be very practical to be located closer to your accrediting agency. Also, a school's center of gravity of its students, the geographic center of its student body may change. For instance, at the current time, uh, many schools are seeing a growth in enrollment in the state of California. And so therefore, several schools are seeking to be accredited by the Western Association of Schools and Colleges, which covers the state of California. Um, a fourth good reason is policy changes by the accreditor itself. For instance, the Higher Learning Commission North Central Association of Colleges and Schools has instituted a new policy where institutions it accredits must have a substantial presence 
in its 19 state region. And that means that a majority of a college's administrative and business operations must be located in that region. And if the school has uh, not just online programs, but has brick and mortar on the ground programs, then at least one campus of the school must also be located in this 19 state region. So that is a reason why schools might also change accreditors. Finally, what about the bad reasons? Well, there's one major bad reason that schools try to change accreditors, and that is when an institution can no longer meet its accreditors' standard. In conclusion, there are a number of reasons, both good and bad, that colleges shop for accreditors. In fact, choosing the right accreditor can be a strategically important decision to a school. In episode two, we'll examine a case study involving accreditation shopping. How do you feel about accreditation shopping? Let us know by visiting facultyofdemace.com. There you will find many ways to join the community and leave your feedback. Thanks for watching. I'll see you inside the next video. Produced at Studio C, Colorado, USA.